Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to 6 here, back to 2004 Toyota Sequoia. And today we're going to be replacing this cup holder foam inserts with brand new ones. Alright you guys, hope you enjoy. Okay, let's start with these front cup holders right here. So we're going to go ahead, we'll just open this up. Uh, no tools are required, so everything just kind of clicks. We'll be able to pull this boot up here. Kind of just grab this firmly, pull up. This whole unit should come up just like that. Now you are going to have to disconnect the harness clip for this mirror, the little mirror selector over here, and for the heated seats. Go ahead, you just look underneath, and on the back side, there will be a little tab that you will have to depress to unlock the connector for all of these. Okay, went ahead and got the uh, front cup holders removed. You can tell this is where the tab is for the heated seats. You'll just have to press them over here. And there will be a locking tab right here for the window selector switch. See, all you gotta do is press this down on here. And then on these two connectors on the back side, just press this tab here and release for both of the heated seats. Press the tab and it should unlock. We're gonna go ahead and replace the cup holder foam right here. We got the replacement inserts. Okay, front cup holder inserts. We're gonna go ahead and flip this over. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six Phillips head screws to remove. All right, here's the old cup insert foam. Go ahead, we'll just peel it off. It's old and dirty. Nasty dry rot. Go ahead and take both of them off. Alright, the old foam is off. Getting ready to install the new foam. Got one of the cup holder inserts on. Gonna go ahead and put the second one on. Just line up the dots here. Just like that. Put this little tab in there. Just make sure all the dots are lined up. A little tricky with one hand here. There you go. Easy as that. Let's go ahead and reassemble this. Let's go ahead and put the cup holder back on. And we can put our six screws back in place. Tighten them down. Let's go ahead and flip this over and see what it looks like. Man, that looks awesome. Brand new cup holder rubber inserts. Looking good. All right, let's go do the second row seating cup holders. Okay, in order to get to the second row cup holder inserts, we are gonna have to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts up front, along with these two 10 millimeter bolts that are in the center console. All right, we got those four screws removed. If you do have the DVD player here in the center console, we will have to remove this inner liner right here. So we'll just go ahead, grab your plastic trim removal tool, just pry up on that. Wiggle it a little bit. And we should get access to a couple more screws. I believe the only one we'll have to remove maybe down there so we'll go ahead and remove that see if it uh frees up the center console okay looks like all we had to do was take out that one bolt right there freed up the center console uh, here we go we have these three connectors here that will disconnect and it should free up all the electronics for the center console all right we got the three connectors disconnected and i believe our whole console is free to come out okay, we just pulled the console outward and upward and i got a lane on the back seat here we're going to go ahead and take it to the back see how we can get to these cup holder foam inserts now that we've got the center console here in the back of the sequoia we're going to go ahead we're going to flip the console over on its lid and that'll give us a good access at the bottom of it we are underneath the center console you can see here is the rcas here's the power outlet i'm going to try not to disconnect anything here but there is one screw on this side and there will be another screw on that side we'll go ahead and we'll take those out then it also looks like there will be a screw. Let's go ahead and see if we can see that. Right there on this side. And another one on that side. Looks like that will be holding the cup holders in. So let's go ahead and get these screws removed. 
Okay, you're going to want to go ahead and just pull it outward and upward at the same time. Should uh, de-seat this second row cup holders. You can see the dirty, broken, just dry rot. So this will give us access to replace the uh, cup holder inserts. This will be just as easy as removing the old cup holder insert foam and replacing it with the new insert foam. All right. All right, when you're getting ready to install your new foam here, there is an alignment mark. So you'll just line up that little notch there. Press it down. All the dots should line up just all the way around. Make sure they're pressed firmly. And we can go ahead and reinstall this. Before we go ahead and throw the screws that hold this console back together, I want to go ahead and make sure these inserts are in there correct. Man, they sure look really good. Way better than the old dry rotted, outdated cup holder inserts. All right, now that we know they're in there good, we'll go ahead and re put the uh, screws in. Now that we got the cup holder inserts all ready to go, we're going to go ahead and we'll throw this center console back in. We got the center console back in place, not bolted in yet. We'll go ahead, reconnect these three connectors here. Just as simple as plugging them in, listen for the clicking sound, you know they're fully seated. And then the five bolts, two there, one there, and two up front. Okay, let's go ahead and put everything back together. We'll go ahead and put this plastic insert back in here where the DVD player's at. Just snap right in, just like that. Getting ready to put this center console lid with the cup holder inserts all done. We gotta connect our two heated seats and the power mirror connector. Everything will just uh, click right in, plug and play. Let's uh, put it together the way we took it out. We got everything clipped in, all the connectors connected. We're gonna go ahead and make our way to the third row cup holders. And here we are at the third row cup holders. Just gonna take your plastic trim removal tool, put it here, gonna unlock it, and uh, yeah, it'll give you a good opportunity to clean the cup holder yeah, and everything that's around it. So let's go ahead and just remove uh, this for both sides. Okay, I got both third row seat cup holders here. These inserts just simply slide out. I'm gonna take them out, they're gross. I'm actually just gonna take these inside and clean them real quick with some soap and water. Just stuff all over it everywhere. Have some stuff soaking over there where I remove these underneath. But yeah, let's get them cleaned up. Getting ready to install the third row seat cup holder inserts. So we went ahead and cleaned this up. Got it all washed out. This is just as simple. Just taking these and just push them in. Sorry, hard to do this with one hand. Just as simple as that. Just take them. Insert them right here. And just uh, repeat the process for uh, both cup holders. This is definitely the easiest one. I have the first and second row. You got everything you need here. Got all the inserts back in. Looking good as new. Got everything all cleaned up. Looking good. All right, let's go ahead and reinstall these. And here's the third row in the back. Looking good. Here's the second row cup holder inserts. Looking good. Looking new. Here is the front driver and passenger cup holder. Nice and replaced inserts. Just makes everything look new. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the cup holder insert video, and as always, Monday to 6, out.